Determine the exact value of the limit if it exists. We have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 5x natural log x. Let's first analyze the limit. Notice as x approaches 0 from the right, x approaches 0, and natural log x approaches negative infinity. This indicates the limit is in the indeterminate form of 0 times negative infinity. If you're wondering where the negative infinity came from, if we take a look at the graph of y equals natural log x, notice as we approach x equals zero from the right, we are approaching negative infinity. From here, we just learned about L'Hopital's rule where if we have a limit in one of the indeterminate forms shown below involving a quotient, then we can apply L'Hopital's rule which states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. But again, right now, our function is not in the correct form to apply L'Hopital's rule, but we can change the form of the function so that it then will be in one of the indeterminate forms that we need to apply L'Hopital's rule. To do this, let's write the function 5x natural log x as 5 natural log x times x, giving us the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, again, five natural log x times x. Now remember, our goal here is to have the function as a quotient, which we can now do because multiplying by x is equivalent to dividing by the reciprocal of x or dividing by one over x. This gives us the limit as x approaches zero from the right of five natural log x divided by one divided by x. Again, dividing by one over x is equivalent to multiplying by x. And now check the form of the limit again. As x approaches zero from the right, natural log x approaches negative infinity, giving us negative infinity, and then divided by one divided by x is approaching positive infinity as x approaches zero from the right. So now we have the indeterminate form of and negative infinity divided by a positive infinity, which is one of the indeterminate forms where we can now apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. So now we'll differentiate, so now we differentiate the numerator and denominator. Applying L'Hopital's rule, we have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of the derivative of five natural log x is equal to five times one over x, or five divided by x, and then we have divided by the derivative of one divided by x. To differentiate one divided by x, we first write one divided by x as x to the power of negative one, and apply the power rule of differentiation, which gives us negative one times x to the power of negative two, or negative one divided by x squared. So the derivative of one divided by x is equal to negative one divided by x squared. And now let's check the form of this limit. As x approaches zero from the right, five divided by x is approaching positive infinity, and negative one divided by x squared is approaching negative infinity. We still have an indeterminate form, but it's not gonna help us to apply L'Hopital's rule again. What we'll do now is simplify this quotient, which gives us the limit as x approaches zero from the right of five divided by x, and then again, instead of dividing by negative one divided by x squared, we will multiply by the reciprocal, which gives us times negative x squared divided by one. And now we can simplify before multiplying. We have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator. x simplifies to one, x squared simplifies to x to the first. Which gives us the limit as x approaches zero from the right of just negative five x divided by one or negative five x. And as x approaches zero from the right, negative five x approaches zero. The exact value of the limit is zero. I hope you found this helpful.